four tonight, an update on our story of a once homeless man who worked to get himself off the streets. A recent crash badly damaged Joseph Kanis's work truck, and he feared he might end up back on the streets. Well, we're happy to report CBS4 viewers stepped up to help him pay for repairs, but now Joseph is facing yet another obstacle in keeping a roof over his head. CBS4's Dylan Thomas met with him today. Dylan, oh, it's been one battle after another for him. And Jim, he says he thinks he's done everything in his power to make sure he never sleeps another night on the streets. He works side jobs to assure that he would have that RV to sleep in every single night. He even found someone to pay rent to in order to park on their property so he was out of everybody's way. But this morning, the county knocked on his door and told him it was time to hit the road. I don't know what else society could want from a person. I'm trying so hard, so hard. To be the, the human being that society wants me to be. And now it's not good enough. For Joseph Kniss, this refurbished RV has been an accomplishment more than a decade in the making. For 12 years, you'd never had a home, and now you finally found it. Yes, that's, it. that's true. Yeah, I finally found a home. I made a home. I earned a home. I created a home. A far change from literally sleeping in a dumpster just years ago. Forbidden from parking on the roadways overnight, Kniss found a landlord in unincorporated Jefferson County who would let him pay to stay. But now the county is saying it's time to go. An ordinance prohibits camping on property for more than two weeks a year. For like two weeks now, I have felt like a person with a home. And now I'm being told I have to go back homeless again. And I'm like, why? What am I doing wrong here? I'm paying for a place. It's in unincorporated Jefferson County. The guy's okay with me. And after all the work you've put in, you feel like it's being ripped out from underneath you. Oh, totally, yeah. It's just right out of there. I put so much love into this, into this house of mine. I've never owned anything before. And now I own something. Now, the county's planning supervisor tells me 100% of the violations which they respond to are reported by members of the public. Kniss tells me he's a quiet neighbor, he's kind to his neighbors, so he doesn't understand who would report him, and now he might be homeless once again. His only option, the county says, might be to go to a designated campground or to possible a mobile home park as well. Live in Jefferson County, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. Thank you, Dylan.